T quilts and today I'm here to do the fifth block of the Nancy Zeman 2017 sew along and we are working on the May basket block so here is a photo here and I have again changed how I am going to piece this block I will be making all of these half square triangle units but then when I get down here, she has, for some reason, she has a six and a half by three and a half inch piece plus a three and a half inch square. So I'm cutting this as one piece. So I'm going to do that in both places. And then here, she has half square triangles attached onto that. And I am just going to attach a single half square triangle on each of those white pieces. And then I'm going to cut a 6 and 7 eighths inch square, cut it once diagonally, and then I'm just going to attach this one piece. And I will have an extra piece left over from cutting that. So let me show you my fabrics. So for my fabrics, I have chosen a white tone-on-tone -tone background, which kind of looks like a paisley, but with a snake. And I'm sure you're not going to be able to see that on camera, but I'll try. And then for my basket blocks, I have cut two 9 and 7 8 inch squares from two different fabrics. And I've cut them once diagonally. I've discarded the other half. As well as I've discarded the other half of this 6 and 7 8 inch square that I cut once diagonally. And then over here, this is my fabric for one set of my half square triangles. And this is the set for my second set of half square triangles. So here in the pattern, disregarding these half square triangles, we have um, two sets of half square triangles. And one set, I actually need three, and the other, I need four. So I will have one extra half square triangle when I'm done. And then these squares here, is what I'm going to put on the ends of this <clears throat> like so when I go to put this block together so we'll talk about this a little bit later but I have already sewn my half square triangle pieces to my triangle on a roll paper so all I need to do is go trim this out and then I will come back and lay this block out for you so I have my basket block laid out. All of my pieces are down. The only thing that have been sewn are my half square triangles. And this here is the extra half square triangle. So we don't need that. I just wanted you to know that you will have it. And so my next step is going to be to make my large half square triangle in the center. And then I'm also going to go ahead and sew these end pieces onto the block. So I have my half square triangle in the middle sewn and I just finger press this. I did not press it with an iron. And then I've also have my two side units pieced. And please note that when you're making these units that they are reverse units. You're not sewing two units exactly alike. They are the reverse of each other. Now because of me adding this on I have to be careful with how I stitch my block together so I am going to stitch these three half square triangles together then add it to this large half square triangle in the middle after I do that then I will add these four half square triangles together and stitch this across the top then I can go ahead and stitch one side on and then the other side on and then my last and final seam will be the background half square triangle that I'm adding at the bottom. So I'm going to go do all of the sewing and I'll see you in just a bit. So I have my May basket block completed 
and again this block finishes off at 15 inches 15 and a half inches unfinished and it pieced together very easily i did eliminate some seams from the original pattern and i do want to give you a tip for how to sew your final triangle piece on at the end when you put this piece on and then cross it with this piece you're going to come up with a little crosshair and that's going to be the center that you need to match to your half square triangle and so how do you find the center of your half square triangle is that you fold it point to point on that diagonal and just finger press a little seam in there and when you open it up I'm going to show you on the back because it probably will be more noticeable on the back but you'll have that little crease and then that crease goes right in that center line that's dissecting these two and I can show you on the back <clears throat> how when I sewed that across when I sewed that across everything is matching up right at that center point line so in the January block I also showed you how I'm doing my half square triangle so if you need more details on that please watch the January video. I do have a link up above at the eye little icon at the top of this video that you can click on that link and you can get the playlist for all of the blocks that are in this quilt that I have made thus far. So thank you for watching and I'll see you with my next block.